Hi everyone, it's Haley Malnicki, your school dietitian here for another episode of Quarantine Cooking, where today we're gonna to be making my easy honey granola. So this is easy and versatile because you can use any type of nut or seed that you have in your house. So I'm gonna get my dry ingredients together in this bowl where I have about three cups of instant rolled oats. So I'm gonna add in a few tablespoons of chia and flax seeds. If you don't have them, no worries, you can just omit them. They just add a little bit of extra fiber and some omega-3s. I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of sunflower seeds. And again, anything that you have on hand will work. If you have pecans, peanuts, cashews, anything like that. So I do have some walnuts, some pecans, and some pistachios that I do need to chop. And I'm gonna roughly chop this because I do like my granola kind of, I guess, on the crunchier side, more like clusters. So I'm just gonna run my knife through these and it doesn't have to be fancy at all. If you have pre-chopped, that works too. Salted or unsalted, literally anything that you have on hand, you can throw into granola. So I'm gonna add these in. And I would say to the three cups of oats, we're adding a good two cups of mix-in. So two cups of nuts and seeds. All right, so let's add those in. And then we're gonna add in the rest of our dry ingredients, which are our flavor components. So if you're using already salted nuts, I would omit the extra salt. But if you're using raw nuts, I'm gonna add, like I am, I'm just gonna add a little sprinkle of salt. All right, that's just gonna bring out the flavors and everything. And then I'm gonna use some cinnamon. And I also brought out some pumpkin pie spice because if you don't have cinnamon on hand, you can always just add in pumpkin pie spice. It has cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, all those wonderful flavors. So that's my dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna mix these all together. You'll see the nice chunks of all the different nuts. They give it a great texture and the oats are kind of just like the binding. All right, so those are all mixed together. So let's get our wet ingredients together over here. So in a measuring cup, I have a little bit, about a half cup of honey. You can also use maple syrup if you don't have honey on hand. And one of my tips is that you want to spray whatever container you're gonna put your sweetener in so it's easier for it to just glide right out into your bowl. So to this, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And you could use any extract you want if you wanted like almond extract or something like that. And then I'm gonna add some olive oil, about a quarter of a cup. Um, if you don't have olive oil, you could use melted butter or any other type of oil. This just gives the granola a little bit of crispiness when it bakes in the oven. I'm gonna mix these together in my mixing cup, measuring cup, excuse me. All right, so once this starts to come together, then we're gonna pour it over our dry ingredients and give it a good stir. All right, so I sprayed my cup so my honey should come out pretty easily. And then we're gonna toss this all together until everything is evenly coated. And like I said, you can also use maple syrup if you just like the flavor of maple syrup better. I have a local beekeeper who gives me honey. Well, I pay for the honey, but I have a local beekeeper, so I always have honey on hand. All right, so you'll see it start to come together. It's a little sticky, but don't worry. This is gonna create those yummy chunks when it comes out of the oven. So you'll notice that I didn't add any dry fruits or raisins or anything like that. The key to a good granola is adding those at the end because they're already dried, so we don't want to further dry them out in the oven. They'll basically feel like rocks in your teeth, and we don't want that in our granola. All right, so this is coming together, and everything is pretty much coated. If it's not and you see that you know it's a little bit dry, you can just add more honey or a little more drizzle of olive oil, and that'll be perfect. So we want them all evenly coated and all the nuts to come together. And then I'm just going to take a baking sheet pan that I have here that I did spray with a little bit of non-stick non cooking spray. And I'm going to add my granola to the pan. So we want this in an even layer. Scrape out all the goodness. And we're just gonna spread it evenly into a single layer. But we kind of want the nuts and seeds to chunk together. So if we keep it a little bit compact, that will assure that all the chunks come out really great and crunchy. All right, so it's that easy. I'm gonna pop this into a 325 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. You'll wanna stir it halfway through. I would take it out before you think it's done because we don't want our granola to be so crunchy that it breaks our teeth. We want it to be just crunchy enough. So 20 to 25 minutes will be perfect. And then we'll take it out, 
add our dried fruits, whatever you'd like. I'm going to add cranberries and some dried apricots to mine. You could also add raisins or golden raisins. And like I said, I will always leave the recipe in the caption above. And if you make any of these recipes, feel free to leave photos in the captions in the in the comments below. And if you ever want to find any of these other recipes, they are available on YouTube under OHM Dietitian or on the Mix 102.5 website and Facebook page. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later this week.